All right, Pisces, let's do a reading for the weekend. So, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the Heart of the Most High, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter. Let's see, what messages do we have for Pisces for the weekend? This is going to be from What's the Tea? So, if you guys don't have some juicy stuff going on, I don't know. I shouldn't even say that. There's good cards in here, too. <laughs> anyway, show me what the T is for Pisces placement. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter. All right. What have we got for Pisces, please? Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us. All negativity that surrounds us and all fears that limit us. So this is from 13th, 14th, and 15th of January 2023. What's going on with Pisces? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Curious about you. Okay, so someone could be curious about you. You could be curious about someone. Okay, so we have the forcer coming out. Force Forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. All right, what else? I think, <laughs> moving on, thank you, next. This could be someone that you've moved on from or someone who moved on from you. Someone may be trying to force their way into your, into your life, into your inner circle, okay? Someone's curious about you, Pisces. All right, two more. So we have shine. Your light irritates their demons, okay? So some of you guys are shining bright. Shine bright like a diamond. All right. Some of you guys may be um, light workers or into, you know, walk by faith is what I just heard. Some of you guys may walk by faith and that could irritate someone. Someone's shadow side, their dark side. They're like, oh, why is Pisces always happy? <laughs> Why is Pisces, you know, ooh, nonchalant? Maybe because, I don't know, someone here could be acting cold towards you. You could be acting cold towards someone. And someone here may have some type of bad habits, okay? Drugs, alcohol, gambling, any type of toxicity. It's like the devil energy there. All right, so let's clarify. We got six cards, so I'm going to take them, fake flex in. On the bottom of the deck, acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, and shows off, etc. Okay, so you may be dealing with someone who acts like whatever they act like. All right, show me curious about you. Who is this that's curious about my Pisces? Who is this that's curious about Pisces, please? You guys are doing well. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain outside. I love the sound of it when it's like pouring like this, but yeah. All right, let's see. Who is this that's curious about my Pisces? King of Swords could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. This could be somebody, you know, some type of a public speaker, some of the cups. Yeah, someone's curious about you. They're confused. This person may even see you in their dreams or be trying to come to you during their dream state. This is someone in a position of authority or someone who's very head over heart, very logical. This is someone, if this person's curious about you, you would never know. All right, the King of Swords doesn't show his emotions. All right, this is someone who's very logical, stoic, strategic, someone who's very strong. This is someone also who's very honest, okay, has good morals. Um, yeah, but they're definitely confused or curious about you.
This person may also be wondering or, or trying to figure out some type of truth as to if you have other options, Pisces, Seven of Cups. Okay. Whoa. You got the seven, literally, back to back, Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups. Someone here may be even be, I don't know, the King of Swords isn't typically someone who's delusional, but I don't know, maybe this person's drinking. This person could have, you know, Seven of Cups can also be like overindulging. Um... I don't know if this is like someone in a position of power. The King of Swords too can be like someone who's forceful or has some type of authority or very, um, yeah, you got acting cold out here. Wow, that's crazy. So just to clarify a few of these cards, this is totally like someone here who may be acting cold, someone who could be forceful. This person may even have bad habits. The Seven of Cups like this coming out twice. This could definitely be someone who has some type of addictions to drugs or alcohol or substances that, you know, kind of cloud their judgment or cause some type of confusion in their life. Someone may do something in excess. Someone may also have a lot of options. I don't know, but someone here, again, with this King of Swords, you would never know. It's like someone who's very cold, and this King of Swords is someone of authority, like, can be kind of forceful, okay, very blunt. Twenty-two. Okay. Give me one more on who, who this is that's curious about Pisces. The world card. This could be someone you've closed a cycle out with. This could be someone who's foreign, someone who lives at a dis distance. This can also be um, someone who's very successful, like I said, in some type of position of power. Or, you know, I don't know if this is someone who travels or does some type of speaking online. Or, you know, speaks for the community in some sense, you know, like a politician or... Um, a judge, a governmental official of some sort, someone in law, maybe. Someone may also be like watching, like, this is like someone may be like watching you from a distance or online or something to that nature. If you have like some type of public platform. This could be an Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Heavy emphasis on Aquarius or someone who has Aquarius placements. Okay, show me this forcer. What is up with this? Mm, for the week? Really? Really? The devil? Capricorn energy. Okay, so this is someone who... Um, hmm. Again, addictions is, is showing up here. This person may even have mental health issues or like some type of codependency. This person may have control issues, anger issues with this forcer and this devil coming out. Yeah, this is like somebody who they've got a dark side and it could be violent. It could be aggression. It could be someone who tries to force their will upon you. Okay, so be careful with this energy. This person may have some type of toxicity, secret addictions, or I don't know. This person may just want to fucking control you, all right? Maybe they, this is someone who could feel entitled, like they want to force something here. Yikes. Okay. Well, this is what you need to know for the weekend, Pisces. So here we go. Show me four, sir, please. What is up with this? Forcer. The Tower. Ooh, Scorpio Capricorn energy. Maybe Aries. Um, this is someone, damn, chaos, destruction, sudden upheaval, trauma, unexpected change, disaster, loss, tragedy, revelations, confusion, pain, divorce, abuse, violence, bankruptcy, and natural disasters. Ugh. All right. So, by the way, um, I've seen the news break about the tornado in Alabama. Um, I hope everybody's safe. I thought I heard thunder, but maybe it's 
playing really low. All right. <sighs> the Tower and the Devil. I don't know. I don't like this energy. It's making me feel like kind of like uh, really nervous or it's making me feel some type of way and I don't like it at all. Okay. We're going to get this message out though. It's, it's cool. It's cool. See my hand? It's like shaky. Like something here is like, make sure your guys' doors are locked. The windows are locked. I'm not trying to like scare anybody, but this, this message ain't for all of you guys. This is for someone though. This is someone who you know is like, <sighs> someone who's trying to like cause destruction in your life, trying to force something upon you. Someone who may have addictions, some type of codependencies or someone who's obsessed, possessive over you. Like just be careful. Cause there could be some type of like setting up people or some type of destruction or change here. Someone may be also going through like some very dark times, maybe with their finances. Uh, be careful. Okay. Damn it. I hate delivering messages like this. I heard home invasion. Okay. Again, I'm not, this isn't for everybody, guys. Um, that's why we give these messages to, to allow people, um, you know, the opportunity to be alert and aware of certain things going on around them. Let's move on. Why is the forcer here? Give me a couple more, please. The world again. So, yeah, this could be someone at a distance or someone who's foreign or someone who has to travel. This person may be falling from grace as well because this uh, world card came out. Uh, so we got Aquarius and Scorpio here strong, maybe a Capricorn. Um, two of swords, be careful because I feel like this person is either like, hmm, I'm getting too many messages. Okay. This could be someone who's losing some type of success, you know, because it's turning. It's like someone's world may be turning upside down the way it came out. It was, you know, someone's world may be being tossed upside down. The lack of success, stagnation, lack of achievement, disappointment, burden, lack, and completion. And then you got the two of swords. I don't know if this is someone who you're ignoring, someone you're not speaking to. Um, this two of swords can also mean like you don't see something coming or someone here has rose colored glasses on. Um, there could be some type of, you know, stressful decision here that's needing to be made. Uh, being on the fence, being torn, being unable or having a hard time making some type of choice about two relationships or some type of divided loyalty. I don't know what this is, but this is like um, someone here needs to take off the blindfold. Show me moving on. Thank you. Next. So 10 of pentacles. All right. Culmination. This is like ancestral wealth, abundance, family, stability, unexpected financial windfall. So maybe you moved on and there's something, you know, maybe you moved on. Maybe you're, yeah, having some type of new beginnings in your life. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, to a new job, to a new marriage, to a new family dynamic, to a new home. Maybe you came into some type of money. Okay. Yeah, we need to get through this reading. Okay. So I'm moving on. Maybe when you do move on or I don't know. Thank you. Next. So again, I feel like some of you guys are like not interested in something. The hair font. Yeah. Someone's doing something uh, that they're supposed to do. Yeah. The temperance card and the hair font card. Someone here is highly protected by angels and God. Um, archangels. Okay. Someone here is at peace. Someone here has a lot of, you know, like balance in their life. Someone's doing something here in moderation. And it's bringing in a lot of, of abundance. New opportunities are being presented here. New financial opportunities. The moon card. Someone here is using their intuition or needs to use their intuition. Again, something about getting messages during your dream state. Okay, the hair font. 
There could be some type of governmental institutions here as well at play. Or maybe you're receiving some money through, you know, this is like guided money. <laughs> guided money, really? Okay, this is like some uh, a dis justice card, okay? Something here, yeah, there's a potential here for someone's being protected. Someone's abundance, their new beginnings are being protected. I don't know what this moon card is. I feel like you just need to use your intuition. There could be some deception or some things that are being hidden here or done in the dark or, you know, I don't know. What is the moon? Give me one more on this. What is the moon? Yeah, I feel like seven of pentacles. This is about like something that making good investments. Protect your investments. Hidden investments. Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Sag energy. You guys may have those in your chart. Things are coming into fruition for you. I feel like your hard work is paying off. Okay, for sure. With the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, whatever it is that you've been working on. You may have been doing something in secret. You guys may have just been doing the work on yourself. There could be a little bit of fear here. Uh, I don't feel like you should. Oh, shit. After I just said what I said. If someone is trying to force their way into like someone who's toxic or someone trying to keep you stuck, if someone's trying to force their way to you, that may not even happen with this two of swords. It's like, it's like a choice not being made. It's stagnation, right? Someone may also get blocked by unforeseen unforeseen forces okay god your angels here whatever it is i feel like you moving on is your protection your abundance your inheritance whatever it is that you've been working on but there's a need to use your intuition here show me shine your light irritates their demons why is this here Y'all hit that like button if this reading is resonating or giving you clarity or helping you in any way, please. Seven of Swords reverse, yeah. Someone here can no longer be deceptive in a, whatever situation. So Seven of Swords re, uh, reverse, they're, I don't know. Someone may even be confessing or may have gotten caught come, trying to come clean, maybe wanting to turn a new leaf. Maybe someone's conscious is uh, eating, eating them, eating at them. The emperor it could be an Aries or a father figure or a boss or someone in a position of power. There's some type of stability, some type of structure, discipline here. Someone here is a boss. This could have been, a, you know, an emperor. I don't know. Let me just keep going. Show me shine. Four of wands reversed. And the wheel of fortune. So something here is faded. Either someone's like position, their leadership role that they're, you know, in is faded. It's destined. Okay. It's meant to happen. The tables are turning in, in your favor. This is your reading. But the seven of swords reverse, four of wands reverse. Someone may be like uh, losing some type of stability. Maybe someone got caught doing something in a home or, you know, in some type of structure. Someone may be also wanting to confess about maybe a marriage that ended or a partnership or about some type of live-in situation or a home, okay? Someone may be unhappy. Someone may be, you know, wanting to, like, come clean about something. Someone's conscious could be eating at them, wanting to reunite and leave home. But there's some type of unhappy family dynamic that I feel like is no longer a secret. And someone's, someone's like, irritated. It's like, again, someone's irritated because someone here is on their destined path and making boss moves. Someone here is a leader. Someone's very structured, very disciplined. Someone's a leader. I already said that. <laughs> someone's very dependable. Someone's a boss. Someone could be their own boss. And someone else is like wanting to like, either someone got caught or someone's just unhappy and they want to like 
come clean about that, take charge of a situation in order to turn this wheel in their favor. Okay, that's another thing. Someone here is like irritated because someone else I feel like is on their destined path and doing very well. Someone's a leader, a boss, right? And the Seven of Swords reverse, Four of Wands reverse. Someone here is unhappy. <sighs> Show me bad habits. My bad habits need to lay in my standing alone. Conversations with a stranger I barely know. Saying this will be the last, but it probably won't. Emperor, what the hell? Justice card. I knew I would see you. Ten of Cups. Bad habits. Emperor, Ten of Cups, Justice, Page of Pentacles. Someone here could very well be married. There's some type of good news coming in about a marriage, a family, a home, some type of justice. Being served, karmic justice, some type of uh, honesty. Um, someone's taking charge of a situation to be happy, to bring balance to a situation, to, to restore some type of fairness, or it's being restored karmically. There's some type of message of good news, a new opportunity coming in for happiness. Something here is being balanced out. Someone's very determined. But what the hell is bad habits? I don't see anything like that. That could be this other person over here. I don't know if there's the same sex or this is a lot of masculine energy in this reading. You'll be speaking to a feminine, you know, who's more masculine. There's a lot of masculine energy here. I don't know if this King of Swords who's curious about you has, this is who's like, every time I look over there, I get this uneasy, like overwhelmed feeling. That's so weird. This energy is definitely heavy. Heavy fucking shit. All right. Someone here, whoever is curious about you, it has some type of toxicities. They're aggressive, they're forceful, they're you know, controlling, trying to cause some type of destruction, but uh, Let me just see. Why is acting cold here? Someone may also be receiving a message from some, some type of law enforcement. The emperor could be like a judge or someone in a position of authority. Right. With the justice card, this could be like court things as well. Maybe surrounding child support or family, family uh, issues here. Someone here has some type of bad habits. I don't know what they are, but um, and I feel like that's going to be made fair. For someone here this ten of cups, someone's going to be able to be happy, have a happy family, happy life. Emotional contentment. There could be an authority figure stepping in. This could be a father and a child or, you know, some type of justice is being served here. I don't know. Someone's got some bad ways. Someone could also just be taking, you know, their own authority to bring, you know, fairness to a situation, maybe when it comes to children or some type of good news here surrounding family. And I don't know what the hell that has to do. Maybe someone was dealing with someone with bad habits and they're taking charge of a situation. 
to be happy. There's a message of good news coming in. It could be from authorities or a father, page of swords. Someone here, someone's acting cold, but they're watching or spying or someone's trying to get some information. There could be some delayed information or news that's coming in. Someone here has been like, you know, paying attention to detail, getting information. Okay. Magician reversed. All right. So somebody's tactics aren't working. Okay. Whatever somebody was doing, it's not working with the magician in the reverse. This could have been some type of manipulation. Someone could have been acting cold at a manipulation, being fucking childish with all these pages out here. There's children involved. Someone here is trickery. Um, it's, it's a wasted talent. There's some type of illusion, deception, and whatever it is, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Okay. I hope no one's trying to manipulate children. That would just be... Yeah. Three of Pentacles. Someone may have been also working together with two younger individuals trying to, to manipulate a situation. Someone may also have been trying to like... Yeah, someone may have been teaming up with someone here, maybe two younger individuals or children here trying to manipulate a situation, but it's not going to work. Someone may be acting cold. Whatever someone was working on in a group of three, it's not going to, it's, I don't know. Someone's going to receive some type of a message here. This page of cups in the upright, page of swords in the upright. I feel like this is honest information. So maybe someone has to go looking for information, but they're going to find it and receive some type of message of good news here. That someone who is working with somebody in a negative way is not working. Or somebody's t tactics or trickery is not going to work. Um, yeah, ten of swords, defeat, endings. Someone was trying to backstab somebody as well. Yeah, Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands. Someone here is like, someone here made a choice to do something deceptive. There's going to be positive movement forward, and that's going to be an ending, something ending. All right, so whatever someone's doing, that shit's about to be stopped right in their tracks, like I said over here too as well. I don't know if there's an authority figure that's stepping in or the justice system that's stepping in. This could be a father figure in your family. This could just a uh, Libra Aries is here. I don't know what to say. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave it here. use this deck let's get one card let's just see let me get one card and for additional information for this reading spirit never used this deck yet so i don't know it very well but let's see so astro astro Roth justice oh it's the justice card tell how the angels fell Reveals the past, present, and the future. Teaches the liberal science. Okay, so yeah, either way, justice is about to prevail. Justice is about to be served. Things are about to be made fair and balanced. Again, tell how the angels fell. It's like someone, something here is stepping in, and there is some type of confession um, about a lack of, like an instability or unhappiness within a home dynamic. Someone's taking charge of a situation to a, uh, to something's karmic, karmically meant to happen this way. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it here. If this reading resonates, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.